At this HIV clinic in northern Uganda, villagers have to walk for many miles to get life-saving antiretroviral drugs. Five years ago, programs were set up promising universal AIDS treatment in Africa. But getting drugs out to areas like these has proven very difficult. People here say there are others with AIDS in their villages who could not make the journey. Today, only a third of the six million people on the continent who need antiretrovirals are getting them. Now, the results of Africa's largest and longest-running HIV-AIDS clinical trial should make it easier to get treatment to the rural areas where most Africans live. The DART clinical trial was set up to see whether the treatment methods used in wealthy countries could be made simpler to confront the epidemic in Africa. It had almost 3,500 participants and was run by scientists in London, Zimbabwe and Uganda under the coordination of the UK Medical Research Council. In wealthy countries, patients are not only given antiretroviral drugs, which they will have to take every day for life to prevent AIDS from developing. They also do many expensive routine blood tests. Some check for side effects to the drugs. One test measures the state of the body's immune system. But the tests need sophisticated laboratories, not available in most of Africa. Now, after six years of research, the DART trial has found that, in fact, these tests have little benefit for patients in Africa. The findings could have a major impact on the way treatment is delivered in African countries. Doctors involved in the study say it is safe for trained and supervised health workers to provide and monitor treatment at village clinics rather than making patients travel to centers with laboratories. This will make it much easier for villagers to access treatment. The findings will also allow many more people to be treated with the same amount of money. At a time when HIV programs in Africa are facing funding difficulties, for many people that could mean the difference between life and death.